Hi guys, it's Letty. Um, you're probably wondering what the heck is this, right? This sketchy, this paper with sketches on there. I'm gonna, we're gonna do something kind of fun. I'm gonna take you from idea to final product. And every designer uh, starts out with a sketch or some ideas, so you know what you you know what you're gonna make, what you're gonna do. I use a traditional um, pad and paper and color pencils and color markers and uh, gel pens and all that to kind of give me an idea of what my next projects will be. Or if I'm doing something for someone, I'll um, I draw it out first to see what I'm gonna you know. So you can have an idea. It's like anything you start out with the idea and then you put it on paper and then you execute so this is some sketches that i did um i even made 22 i always date my sketches so i know you know i just like to date stuff so anyway this is a few sketches that i had in mind um i always um kind of i do the sketch something i have in mind and then I'll actually um, write onto the side what kind of fabric I want for that particular garment, whether I want different fabrics or whatever. So I drew this little this little dress here. So I ne definitely wanted a, a wide waistband and a short um, uh, uh, bodice, simple bodice, tank bodice. Um, I think I wanted it in a solid color. So I think I started with, I decided to, to do with the red um, color scheme and then for the bottom I wanted to do something a little bit fancier uh, I said uh, either a lace or an applique which I might apply applique to a um, a flirty circle skirt bottom um, don't know what the fabric will be that will be underneath the applique or I might just do a lace all together so I definitely thought with this dress I wanted to do something different from top to bottom so that's one of my sketches just you know just doing something and then I wrote down here Anna inspired skirt pleated well Anna inspired pleated skirt with two fabrics now if you remember from frozen um, Anna has a the dress she's wearing the bottom of the dress is two different fabrics it's sort of like a um it's pleated and i just thought it was such a cool concept so what i did i came up with my own idea for a anna skirt i said well maybe i can get something in this color this is not quite pink it's sort of like a um a, a darker shade of pink i don't know what it's called and then i was gonna do a different some different colors on the inside and even the the, the uh, waistband will be different so this is just an idea of a skirt that's inspired by Anna uh, from the Frozen movie and then I have this one which is similar to the Anna I just thought I would go with some different some bolder colors so these are just some things that are kind of that I've been you know put on paper that I'm interested in making but getting to the that's just my preliminary sketches but this is what I want to work on with you guys and I'm gonna take you from start to finish this is just first this will be a several part series so this is what we're really making this is gonna be a t just a simple dress it's really simple you got a t simple tank bodice you have to excuse my illustrations because I'm not really <laughs> they're a little underdeveloped okay so the eyelid fabric that I showed you in a previous video I'll link the card somewhere in this video um, talking about the um, the eyelid pink eyelid fabric beautiful fabric I bought so I decided to make a dress for my daughter it would be have the uh, flirty circle skirt bottom with a simple tank uh, top so this is like a just a preliminary sketch of that it's real simple and I, I already wrote down what I would need I need a pink lining I need to go back to the fabric store before I'm, you know, um, I can cut the, I can cut it out and everything, but I won't be able to put it together. I have to find a pink fabric lining. I didn't get that at the store when I went to buy the eyelid fabric in the first place, which I should have done, but I didn't do that. So, anyway, guys, let me just show you quick. I have a swatch over here of that pink, beautiful fabric right here. So I'm going to take this to the fabric store with me to try to match up uh, 
another fabric that I'm going to use for my lining. So anyway, guys, that's what we're doing. It's going to be um, kind of fun. So my next video, I will actually be uh, showing you, uh, I'm doing the, the, the cutting process. And uh, I have my daughter's measurements by the end. So I have to have my, I have to measure my daughter and I have to uh, start cutting and then we go to the fabric store and I'll get the lining. So anyway, guys, this will my, probably be a, maybe four or five um, different parts series. So that's all I have for today. I just wanted to let you guys know what the plan is. And um, if you guys uh, want to see the final end result then stick around and um, I'll be bringing you each uh, video a new um, a new step in the process we're gonna get this this dress done and that is all I have for you today so I'm looking forward to it I'm excited I uh, hope you guys join me and anyway guys like comment and subscribe and uh, I do appreciate the comments that you uh, try to respond to all that I get um, well it's not uh, well you know with the ones that I get, I do respond to, and I do appreciate you taking time out to watch my videos. So, anyway, guys, um, I'm very, I'm a very gracious person. So you're gonna get sick of me saying thank you, but I do appreciate it. So, anyway, guys, be blessed. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you at the next video. Bye.